I'm Brandon Galantine from Pennsylvania, and you're watching The Oh My Gosh. What is up, fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life, movie. You're wondering why my face is blurred. It's because I completely changed up my look, and I am not comfortable with it. So from now on, this is how I am going to vlog with a blur on my face. Okay, I'm just kidding. I am not going to vlog with a blur on my face. Are you ready to see this new look? Just trying something different. I don't know, I was getting tired of the same old look over and over again, so here you go. I shaved my beard, I shaved my head. Why well, didn't shave my head? I got a little bit of hair. And no, this is not a soap opera. Bro, it's just really humid outside. Yeah, lens kind of fogged up. But yeah, sometimes when you're sporting a beard, you just get a little tired of having hair on your face. Uh, if you didn't know, your boy Omar has a very smooth face, and I just love being able to feel it. Melissa hates me having a mustache, too. So there you go. I kept a little bit of chin fuzz, just because, yeah, I need something there. I can't do a whole clean shave. I just look. I look like a... I look like this. Ah! So yeah, I am not going for that look. I'm really dirty, by the way, and if you're wondering why, I've been working at my new house every single day. In case you missed my video a couple days ago, I purchased a new home. It needs a lot of work. I've been there every single day. I did mention to you that I might be absent from, you know, my life movies, aka vlogs, but maybe not. Today I was pressure washing, and I got, you know, if you've ever done any pressure washing work, you get dirty. You get really, really dirty. I mean, there was a lot of, like, wasps. Blah, blah, blah. There was a lot of wasps. I can't even say that. Wasp. 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 My house is brick. My new house that I got. But yeah, go check out that video. Was exploring this new house that I bought. It needs a lot of work. But I ended up finding this, like, really creepy looking bride doll there. I asked you guys to name her. And my favorite name so far that one of you mentioned was Abigail. I think that's kind of a cool name. Let me know what you think of the name Abigail for my creepy bride doll. I was thinking about going fishing in my pool. While I was in the house, kind of from the corner of my eye, I see something moving around inside of this pool. Now, mind you, this pool hasn't been cleaned in probably 10 years. I'm exaggerating. It's very, very dirty. When I go outside, I hear a bloop in the pool. So there is something definitely living in that pool. I am leaning towards the idea that there might be a gator in my pool. Certainly hope not because gators can be aggressive, they could be dangerous, but it is possible because there is a lake right behind my house. He's waiting for his banana. He's waiting for his banana. Oh, look what I got, Bubba. Wait a minute, you're gonna have to do a circle for me. Come here, here, come on. Come here. Come on, let's do a circle. Oh yeah, he loves the circle. Mmm. Bubba likes bananas. Okay, don't bite my finger off though. There you go. Oh, my floor is dirty. We gotta sweep. It's the only time I could pet Bubba. Now he's got a little, little scab right there. He's got real dry skin. Bubba is 100% potty trained. I don't even have a litter box for him in his room i just keep him in there you know at night time and in the morning i let him out and he does his business he's like it's like one of the doggies except he's not affectionate like the doggies like i can't hold him down and pet him see let's see what happens come on where are you going where are you going give me a kiss can i have a kiss you just want food no 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 no, no. that's cookies that's cookies get, get out of here i just fed you you pig this is my protein that i use you can get it on amazon and you can see it's got probiotics. It's pretty tasty too. It's a peanut butter type shake. And you can see right there, 100% vegan. Throw a little scoop of Skippy peanut butter. Now you have to be careful with peanut butters and other things too. Under ingredients, it's in a lot of things that you eat. It's called hydrogenated oils. That is an oil that is really, really bad for you. And it can cause your arteries to clog. This does not have partially hydrogenated oils or any hydrogenated oils. That's why I stick with Skippy Natural. So using unsweetened almond milk, I wanna put a little bit of ice, put a banana. Uh, I like peanut butter. Gonna put some peanut butter. Yummy. 
I wonder if Bubba likes peanut butter. Let's find out. The peanut butter? I already gave him a little bit. I do two scoops of this. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got peanut butter in my tummy. Here you go. Let me know what you think. It was good, huh? It's been raining every single day here in Florida. Every single day. Well, it's really green out. It's very, very green. It's been a little while since I've done some fan mail. I'm working on doing like a live fan mail opening uh, not in as large as what i've been doing but you know just a couple boxes but i'm probably going to open a couple here you know just real quick because i did have a fam send one all the way from australia if you didn't know on sundays i do a special live stream just for my sponsors it's a very small live stream i think only like 40 people end up coming when i was talking to Rhiannon, and she was like hey i sent you a package she's from australia and it was really cool. We do like Skype calls on, on there. And I, I tried doing that on a regular live stream. It didn't work out that great because, you know, of course on my regular live streams, thousands of people come and we ended up breaking Skype. Like the app almost crashed. It was bad. I was getting calls after calls and this was a little bit more controlled. So let's go ahead and open up Rhiannon's package. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm in my garage. Okay, there's something for Melissa. We should take a peek. Ooh, that smells, that smells amazing. That's like soap or something. Oh, wow, that's so pretty, look at that. What is this? Oh, it's another thing of soap. Melissa loves soap. She takes a ton of showers. That's so nice of you. You know, when you guys send me something and you don't have to, do not feel obligated. Sometimes, another reason I don't do fan mail a whole lot is because some people, they feel guilty or something. Like, you know, like they should have sent me something. And I, I don't do fan mail to make people feel guilty. And like I mentioned, I'm not a materialistic person. However, when you send me something, I do see that, wow, you took the time to, I mean, even if it's a picture that you drew, like you took the time because you love me to send me something and, and I appreciate that. And uh, some of you send me emails and stuff too. Sometimes I do read them. Um, I don't read them a lot because I do get a lot, but I I might not respond all the time. I, I apologize, but I do appreciate even if you take the time to, to send me an encouraging word. I mean, even if it's on Twitter or something. Oh, this is so cute. Look, it's a kangaroo with a koala bear. You know, they're not really bears, right? That is so cute. Some Tim Tams, cool. Some Nutella. And then my uh, my second favorite, Vegemite Cheesy Bite. Hold on, we're gonna have to do a taste test. Now, if you don't know, like they don't sell this stuff in the US. Vegemite, um, I think in the UK they have something that's very similar to this, it's called Marmite. My friend Glenn told me about it and I have tasted that before. It tastes very similar. Vegemite and Marmite, not gonna lie, it's not the best tasting thing. I, I guess it tastes kinda good like on toast and stuff. But I don't know, this is different. It's called Cheesy Bite. Let's, let's try a little bit. Uh, looks like, looks like chocolate. It tastes like Vegemite, but it's got a cheesy, cheesy taste to it for sure. It's actually pretty good. Oh, some Australian coins. Okay, this is for James. I get some of James's mail here too. He doesn't have a P.O. box. That is awesome. Australian money. And then, oh, there's one for me too. Yo, that's cool. It's a picture. See, I love this. Thanks for taking the time to draw this. Kangaroo with baby and koala toys was mine when I was, oh. This was Rhiannon's when she was little. Oh my gosh, why would you give this to me? Like, that's so sweet. I will never. I will never get rid of this. Oh, whoa, this, oh, this is the Slender Man. Wow, it's like a painting. Whoa, what is this? Oh, it's a purse for Malia. That's so cute. This is so Malia's style too. For Ethan, 
Oh, let's see here. Knock, knock. Phil. Tell who? Fill this bag with money. I'm a robber. I like that one. These are good. I love knock knock jokes. Rhiannon, that was really, really nice of you. Can't wait to try more of the Vegemite Cheesy Bite. That's very unique. And thank you so much for sharing with me something that belonged to you when you were little. That's very, very sweet. I got some letters too. I'm not going to read them on camera, but I do want to mention your name. A shout out to Martha from Texas. Miss Alina from Illinois, got Casey from Arkansas, David from Maryland. Uh, this one's from Knoxville, Tennessee, but it doesn't have uh, doesn't have a name. Uh, we got Teresa from Texas, Terry from Cape Coral, Florida. Oh, a postcard. That's cute. Love postcards. Uh, this one is from Jane Col Collins. Collins. Or Callens from Jasper, Alabama. Thank you so much. That's a beautiful message. Cassandra from Texas. Teresa Branson from Texas. Uh, this one doesn't have a name, but it's from Thornton, Colorado. Madison Johnson from Ohio. Package here from Joseph from Pinellas Park, Florida. Wow, it's like right in my backyard, pretty much. And then I got this. This is from Jeremy Blackwell from Texas. And last but not least, uh, we have a package from Laura from Finland. Cool. Those are some really cool looking stamps. I'm gonna be doing a live stream, hopefully this weekend. I'll do like a fan mail live stream. I have no idea when. And by the way, if you're not following me on Live Raise, it's 100% free to join. And if you want, like you could, you can pay like a, it's like kind of like the sponsors here. And I do exclusive live streams on there, but I do a lot more live streams on there. People think that it like you have to pay money for it. You don't. It's 100% free. I did a live stream, in fact, yesterday telling people something that's going to be happening tomorrow it's for tomorrow's video. So if you want to get a leg up, on what it's actually a pretty big deal too. go watch that live stream i'm not going to give you any hints on it and also like this whole new look i showed live raise before i even showed youtube so that's another reason why you want to follow me on live raise 100 free to join and you can interact with me it's a lot of fun i you could even send me like uh, messages on there i love both of your channels but your vlog channel feels ow <laughs> Why'd you laugh after biting my ear? I'm gonna start concluding this video. I know it's like, you know, nothing. I, my family's like, they're in the house. I think Melissa's still in bed because of the weather. You know, it's it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and just, I don't blame her. I'm thinking tomorrow we might go fishing in my super green pool and try to find whatever is in that pool. Somebody was mentioning for 10,000 likes, I should jump in the pool. I am not gonna jump in that pool. It is so disgusting, but there is something living in that pool, like I mentioned a little bit earlier today. And I need to find out what it is. Is it a turtle? Is it a snake? Is it a fish? Is it an alligator? Is it some weird sea monster? I don't know, we're gonna find out tomorrow. I'm gonna spend the entire day trying to get whatever's in there out. Hopefully it's still there so we can actually look for it. Thank you so much for being a part of my fam and a part of my day today. I hope to see you tomorrow. Before you leave though, give me a kiss. Peace.